for inviting me to give this short tribute at the beginning of this service for Archbishop Desmond Tutu. I want to start with sending my condolences and those of all Anglicans around the world to Mama Lea, to Trevor, to Tandeka, Nontombe and Mpul. Those who will miss him most and those who are closest to the arch. And then I want to say that for myself or any Archbishop of Canterbury to give a tribute to the Archbishop is like a mouse giving a tribute to an elephant. For Archbishop Desmond Tutu lit up the world. South Africa has given us so much in the last 30 years. So much in this extraordinary example of the Rainbow Nation. And two giant figures that tower over the world. President Man Mandela and Archbishop Desmond Tutu. We are so grateful. In all the messages I've received from around the world, the numerous WhatsApps, the most striking common theme has been where people have said, when we were in the dark, he brought light. And that light has lit up countries globally that were struggling with fear, conflict, persecution, oppression, where the marginalised suffered. He never ceased to speak prophetically. He never ceased to speak powerfully. He never ceased to shed light. Many Nobel Prize winners' light fades with time. His grew brighter. And his light was the light of Christ. And that is why his light will go on shining, because it is the light of Christ. The Christ who sent him whom he served, who gave him courage, and who means that his light is not extinguished. The arch is not someone who one will speak of as was, but who is shedding light for those on the edge and who suffer to this day and in the future. May God rest his soul and bless his family. And may God bless South Africa.